All right. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, a, we list records from a table. We have a table. We have a small app. We call this app. Uh, it has a login screen, and it would list a, a list of stores in this second page. So if you look at it, if we run it, just to show you what we have so far, there's nothing in it. You just type in the password and the sorry, the username and the password. Uh, one, two, three, and then you log in. And it'll take me to the second page. It says, give me a, a welcome uh, alert screen. It'll give me this second page. Now, in this page, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a list of stores. And we will add, first we do the list of stores. And then after that, we will do the search. Well, there. All right, so let's, let's do it. Let's take a look at the app, back at the app, and see what we have. We have a database. In the database, we have two tables. We have the, ta well, actually we have only one table. Oh, this is the, st the app. Uh, all right, let's go back to the database. In the database, we have a shopping app, uh, database, and then it has one table, just a store listing, few records in the stores. What we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be searching by this field, which is a store city. And uh, we have a uh, uh, few columns in here. The other tables are, these are the ones that come standards with when you create a database. Okay, I've, I've covered these in details in the previous app reviews. Now if you go back to the app, we need to, to list the records in this, uh, in this list. We have here, first we have, um, where is it? list here, right? So I'm going to add the list, and then I'm going to add a search. Okay, so we'll add a list, and then we'll add a search, okay? Now the list, this list here, it comes with, I'm going to go to mobile, it's called mobile list. Right now there's three records, three, three items. I don't need three items, I only need one item, okay? And then you apply. You don't need three items, all right? All right. Now, what's going to happen, we need to go to the database, get the records, and display them in this list. And the way we do it, we need to create the service first, the database service. So we go to the create database service, and then we select the tables, the database. And I already created these services, but what I want is the store. Okay, what do I want? I want to be able to create. I don't need to create. I need to do read. No update because we're just listing. You do list and then query. All right? If you want to do delete, you can do delete. If you want to do read, uh, read, you can put read, but you have to provide an ID. And here's the update the same way. You have to provide an ID. Okay, so when you click on import these services, I got my services here already. Okay, now the next step is that how we, when we first open the page, it would list everything from the table. So what I'm going to do, we need to go to the data, and then we need to add those services to the data tab. So you go to here, you go to the, the uh, ser uh, service, select the service, and the one that we're interested in is this list service. Okay, the first one, and you click on add. I'm gonna call this list records, list all. Okay, service. List all service, okay? All right, because you're listing all everything in this table, you don't need to pass anything. So if, even if you click on mapping, no need to pass anything, all right? There is no query, no need to pass anything to this, uh, to this uh, to the, as a request. But on success, what you need to do is that you need to get the, whatever we get from the database, we have in the page, you see you have a page, in the page we have the mobile list seven, okay? What you need to do, you need to map what you get from here to this list. So you take the array and then map it to here. And then the store name will map it to the text, okay? That's all. Now when we click on save and return, we need to invoke this service, right? How do we invoke is this service? 
you do, we go back to the design. This page has an event. This event called when you first load. All right, you see here I already have so, uh, the, what is the name of this page? Uh, is it called car wash? Did we call it car wash? Yeah, call it car wash. So there is event car wash load. Okay, when you first load this event page, what do you want to do? You want to invoke the service. So you select this, and then you go in here, invoke service. The service that you want to invoke is this one. There's only one service. Okay, that's the only one, and do save. Now that's the first thing happens when you run the page, when you load the page. So it goes to the database, get the records, populate these items, and then it'll be there. Now if you run it, <coughs> save and test. If you log in, if you type in Ali, then one, two, three, and then log in. It will take a while, a little bit, because it's going to get the data from there. Okay, and those are the records that we have. Okay, so this is how you list them from the database. The next piece is that when we do search here, if I want to do search, I type in the city, and then it will give me the records in that city, all the ones that are in that city. All right? So if you go back... And let's modify this guy here. Right now the text is search. I'm going to delete it. You can put a placeholder. It says enter city here, right? All right. It could be a comp. You can do it a drop down, but you can do that too. All right. All right. So that is what's going to happen. Now, this is, has an event also. This search has an event. So if you select on it, if you click on it, and then you look in here, it's called, there is an event called search. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna create a service that we can invoke based on when they click on the search. So we added this, now we go back to the data. In the data, you need to do, before we send the, before we, we need to add the service first, right? because this is the, the other service. Now we need to add another service. Here, what we, we, we add, we add the query service. Do you see that? The query service. If you select that and you click on add, now we're gonna call this search service, okay? Search service. All right, now the mapping, we have to do a little bit different here. When you click on mapping, before, I need to send what I'm searching for. I'm searching for a particular city. So I need to provide the city name. Now, if you click on mapping, you have, you need to get some value from here. From the page, I want to get the uh, search. I want to get the text. And I wanted to pass it to this query, all right? But you can't just pass it to here. You need to pass it you can take this for now, but I'll show you what's gonna happen. If you just pass it here, it takes the value here and then pass it there, but it wouldn't work because the query has to be in a specific format. I'm gonna do the simple query first. Of course, if you wanna do more, you can go out to the website and find the different things that you can do, but I'm just showing you how to get started. So what you can do here, you need to go to the JavaScript. What happens is that before you actually pass it to the query, you can format your text or your query string. So I receive the value from the search bar. So whatever I type in the search bar, I receive it as a value. Now I have to format it to say city name, store city, equal the value that I receive. And to do this, I already done it in a previous example. I'm gonna control copy this, and then I'll paste it here, and I'll zoom it, so because it probably would be too small to see. So here is, I'll show you what's gonna happen. So here is what's happening. I need to put the name of the city, a name of the field here. So what is the name of the field? The name of the field, if you remember, what was it? In the database, do you remember? What's the name of the field? It was store location, store location right? So that is the name of the field. Okay, no, not store location, store city. Right, it was control minus here. 
store city. You see that? So that's the field that I'm going to be searching by, store city. Okay, you can control copy if you want. And then go back to the uh, pre. Can you see it? I'll make it bigger. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I will put the name of this store city equal to the value. The value is the one that I get passed from the search bar. This just to type in the, the query, just to show it in the console log to see what is the actual query look like. And this is the important part. You're returning your string. You're returning the formatted query string. This has to be JSON format, and that's what you see it. You give it the name of the field, and then what you're searching for. Okay, you can put less than, greater than, all of that, but again, you can view it on the, uh, on the website. All right, so if we go back and do save and return. All right. <clears throat> So that is the search service. We will do the mapping in a minute, all right? We will do the mapping in a minute. Now, we, to do the mapping, what we want to do, basically we do the same thing that we've done in the list all. So if you go to mapping, uh, you get the array again, you get the list box again, the, the list, uh, the mobile list again, and then you do the same thing, you take the array, Map it here, and then you take the store name and then map it here. All right? So the same step, steps that we did earlier. So I click on Save, and I click on the... Now we're done with the services. Now the last piece is that we go to the design, and in the design, you invoke the service that you did. We just created. So if you look at, the, uh, at this here, and then let's go back to the, um, go to the uh, events. And then I select what? Which one do I select? I select, which one? The search, no, but yeah, but I need, which one? I need to first select the uh, component, which is what? The mobile search. Now the event is search. What action do I use? I invoke service. Which service I use? Search service. Save. Now, all I have to do is save it, test it, and then we go in here. Let me minimize this a little bit. If you type in here, um, one, two, three, and then you do login. Watch, hit OK, watch what's gonna happen. All right, now if I type in, I know there are one in Dubai. So if I type in Dubai and do search, click on the search button here, it gave me search. If I type in Sharjah, and then I do this, I got two records. Jod, all right, so that's how you do your services. Uh, search search in Apri. Okay, and the key thing is that the query. Remember the query. All right. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video.